everyone, my name is Sumit. I'm a digital chess coach. In this video, I'm going to show you a trap, the Italian game called the Blackburn Shelling Trap. And how this trap got this name is very interesting. This trap was invented in the 19th century. And uh, Joseph Henry Blackburn, who is a legendary uh, player from England, used to play this trap with the sitters of a chess cafe and used to win one shilling uh, per game of, for winning the game. So that is how the trap got its name. And also this trap introduces a very interesting concept called this method mate. If you're an intermediate player or a novice starting with chess, a smothered mate is a checkmate delivered by the knight in which the opponent's king is surrounded by its own pieces. It's a very interesting concept and I'm sure you're going to love this idea and also the trap. So without further ado, let's get started. So white opens with one e4 and black responds with e5. The open game is in action. Knight f3, knight c6, normal moves, bishop c4, and this is the Italian game. Now here, uh, the normal moves are bishop to c5, or which is the coico piano, bishop to c5, or knight to f6, which is a two knights game, or g6 or d6 can be played in this position. But uh, in this particular trap, black plays a dubious move, knight to d4, which violates the opening principle that one should not uh, move the same piece twice in the open. So black here it sets up a very cunning trap. He offers his e5 pawn for the knight to capture. Um, if uh, knight takes d4, uh, white gets a advantage in a very normal game. Um, Keras actually uh, realized this not only Keras, there are many grandmasters who analyze this position and they agreed that after castling by white or capturing the knight <clears throat> gives white a good game. But uh, if you capture, if white captures the e5 pawn, then he loses material by force, and which is the concept of this trap. After knight takes e5, queen g5, threatening to capture the e5 knight and also the g2 pawn. Uh, now, black can win material by uh, capturing on f7, uh, forking the queen and the rook. And here, uh, black captures g2, threatening to uh, capture the, the h1 rook. So white defends it by playing rook f1, and black captures the e4 pawn and gives a check. And uh, the only way to defend this check is by playing bishop e2. And look at this position where uh, the king is trapped and all the uh, pieces are surrounded. His own pieces are sur surrounding him. And now the knight jumps in and delivers the smothered checkmate. Knight f3 is a checkmate. And uh, the king cannot move because all the squares are okay, out occupied by his own pieces. So this is the concept of smothered mate. The king is smothered. The a lone knight delivers a checkmate. And uh, there are many such concepts, uh, uh, smothered mate concepts, which I will cover in another video. I hope you enjoyed this concept and this video. And if you encounter the knight to d4, uh, knight to e5 is a blunder. So here, knight takes d4 is the best move. He takes d4. Uh, e, and now even c3 or castling gives uh, white a good game. So that's about it. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please uh, like, like this, like this video. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Share this video with your friends and uh, colleagues. And also click on the bell icon to get more such videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. -bye.